if you had the sun in there, you would see a circle. But there is nothing. Can I look? Mm. No. Oh, in no. there? Oh, sure. In there. But if I take that off, it will be a little too much. So for your eyes, I don't wanna. I don't want you to become to be hurt. Mm. I do it. It's a secret. Okay. I look at it, but not you. Uzay ve havacılık camiasının başlıca araştırma konularından biri olan Merkür geçişi bugün gerçekleşti. 100 milyon kilometre uzaklıktaki geçişi takip etmek isteyen ve NASA'da çalışan bilim insanı Fabrizio Pinto, Merkür'ü görüntüleyebilmek için evinin çatısına çıktı. No, I don't want to be. They make me. But... <gülüyor> Can you see something? Oh, I can see the sun, but Mercury, it's too small to be seen here on this on this little screen. Seviyoruz ya, sayesinde okulumuzun. This is called the transit of the planet Mercury, and Mercury geçişi. Yeah, and uh, it is the, the importance is that uh, these events allow us to understand the orbit of Mercury extremely well. Bu alanlar Mercury'in yörüngesini anlamamız sağlıyor. So what happens today is that the Sun, Mercury, and the Earth are lined up. So Mercury is going to be going in front of the Sun. This happens very rarely because uh, this is not a simple alignment to have. Uh, şu anda Merkür, Dünya ve Güneş bir sıralanma halinde. Bu her zaman olan bir şey değil. O yüzden önemli bir konu. The next time 2032 is the official date. So this yeah. 32'de yeni yeah. yani tekrarlanacak bu geçiş. Hmm. And, uh, this year we celebrate the first century of the discovery of general relativity by Albert Einstein and the motion of Mercury was what Einstein used to f to understand that he was correct in that theory. Uh, Einstein's general relativity theory is the 100th century this year. Einstein used Mercury's motion theory to explain the motion of Mercury. So it's very important to understand the motion of this planet because it is very close to the sun and the sun is very massive. And so there are some effects that have to do with relativity that uh, can be studied better if this planet is understood correctly. Uh, yani Merkür en yakın gezegenlerden gezegen güneşe. Güneş de çok büyük olduğu için bu uh, hareketi etkiliyor. O yüzden bu çalışma yani bunu gözlemlemek çalışması için önemli bir parçası. From the standpoint of everyday life, there is no impact because the mer Mercury is so small that it's a small dot on the surface of the Sun. So that's why you need a telescope to see it. Uh, the impact is more in what understanding it provides than uh, you know on any direct effects on us. Ya yani günlük yaşama çok fazla bir etkisi yok çünkü çok küçük bir uh, nokta şeklinde güneş önünde. Uh, so what was the last part? The last part was that there is no direct effect. Really, and it's the yeah. And direct bir etkisi yok. So. Uh, absolutely not. There is no danger whatsoever. The the gravitational force of Mercury on the Earth is so small compared to anything else that really the Moon is a lot closer. So the effects are greater. We have the tides in the sea. We have that effect from the moon, but Mercury is not a danger. There is no danger in what's happening today. Mercury is very small and very far away, so the effect of the moon on the Earth is not so much. The moon is so close to the moon, and the moon is so close to the moon. But Mercury is so close to the moon, so the effect of the moon on the Earth is not so much. Thank you very much. So, the moon is so close to the moon, so the effect of the moon on the Earth is not so much. So, because it is so small, 
we do need equipment and so uh, probably s certainly mercury cannot be seen with, without a telescope when it goes in front of the sun now venus also goes in front of the sun and venus is closer and bigger uh, however, even for Venus, I doubt very much that I it is possible to see it without a telescope. Uh, you, you know, would be different. Yeah, herhangi bir ek ek ekipman olmadan çıplak gözle görmek Merkür çok kolay, yani imkansız çünkü çok uzakta ve çok küçük. Venüs tutulması oluyor daha yakın ve daha büyük bir gezegen ama ona rağmen onu görmek bile ekipmanla çok zor. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, the the area on the Earth that can see this event goes more or less from uh, Middle East, you know, East, East Turkey, all the way to the United States. They're going to see that very well. Uh, so there is a large part of the Earth that was going to be part of it. In, in, in Turkey, we're going to see only the beginning. B the end will not be visible because the sun will set before it ends. Yani Türkiye'nin doğusundan Amerika'ya kadar geniş bir alanda izlenebilecek. Ama bizde sadece <coughs> yani bu başlangıcı görünüyor. Bitişi güneş batacağı için göremeyecek.